Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to graph a line using the slope and the y-intercept. Well, if you recall, this is slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b, where m, the slope, is 4 thirds and b, the y-intercept, is 6 on the y-axis. Let's look at the slope. In fact, no, let's look at the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 6 on the y-axis, and that is located here because you're going in twos. Um, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. And that means you're going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, heck, 11, 12. All right. Same thing in the horizontal direction. We have 1, 2, 3, Four, right there. Okay. Now our slope is going to be like a road map. All right. We start here at the uh, y-intercept, and we are going to let the slope guide us. Okay. We're going to let the slope guide us to our next point. That's what slopes do. One of the things they can be thought of as road maps. Okay. Here's our slope, m equals 4 thirds. The top number is the rise, the vertical movement, and the bottom number is the run. Movement in the horizontal direction. Positive 4 thirds has a positive 4 on the top and a positive 3 on the bottom. Math is full of codes. A plus in the vertical direction means up. A plus in the horizontal direction means right. However, let's also remember something else. Any positive number, like, for instance, positive 4 thirds, also equals a negative 4 over a negative 3. That would be positive 4 thirds. However, if my negative is on the top, that means I'm going to go down. And if my negative is on the bottom, that means I'm going to go left from the y-intercept. So now let's use this, but we could use this. Let's use this to start at 6 and go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the right 3. One, two, three. That's our next point. Notice you go up four and to the right three, and then you make your point. And then if you're graphing by hand, which I'm terrible at, you draw your line. It's not exact, but it's good enough. 